we're going to create this money thumbnail design today. But before starting, you need to watch this video first. I've provided some free resources in that video for you that we're going to use in this video as well. If you already have watched it, we're good to go. Now in Photoshop, take a file of 1920 by 1080 and click on Create. We'll use this as background. Now, right click on this layer and convert to Smart Object and drag it to our thumbnail document. Press Ctrl T and adjust the size. Now, press Ctrl U for Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer, then drag the Lightness slider to the left to make it darker. Now go to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur, add around 15, then hit OK. Now we'll import our subject. I already have removed the background. We'll convert this to Smart Object as well, and then drag it into our thumbnail. Now press Ctrl T and adjust the size and position. We'll position him in center. Then we'll import the money. Place it around here. Now we need to make this money green. And for that, press Ctrl U, Check on this colorize box, set saturation to 50, then use hue slider to change color and then decrease the lightness slightly, then hit OK. Then press Ctrl M for curves and then create a point here and drag it up, then create a point here and drag it below. This adds some contrast. Now hold Alt and drag it to the right to make a duplicate. Place this layer below so it's in the back. While holding Alt, drag this one to the left. To add some in the background, hold Alt and drag and drop one of them below our subject layer. Press Ctrl T and adjust it. These should be a bit smaller because they are farther. Now similarly, I added one on the left. Now it's time to add some shadows. Select the subject layer, click on this button, and then Hue and Saturation. Drag the lightness slider to the left, hold Alt, and click between these two layers to create a clipping mask. Click on the mask and press Ctrl I to invert it. Now take the brush tool, set a lower flow, make sure the foreground color is white. With soft round brush, start painting on these areas. Now add one more hue saturation layer for the money in background with same settings. Invert the mask and then paint. Now to make light glow in the background, select background layer and click on this button and then solid color, choose green color. Hit OK. Click on the mask and invert it. Take a soft round brush, set the flow to 100 and with white color just click once. Now scale it and position it around here. Now create a new solid color above the subject layer. Choose green, hit OK. Clip it to the subject layer. Change its blending mode to color, then invert the mask. Set the flow to 14. With soft round brush and white color, paint on these areas. If the color isn't right, you can double click on the color and change it. Then paint again on the areas where you want the light. Now for highlights, I recommend you to watch this video. I'll link it down below. I've provided an action for this. What you'll have to do is just rename your subject layer to subject with capital S and then click on the action. It'll create all the layers for you with just one click. I also have pre-made gradients for this. You can easily pick any without having to create from scratch. Saves a lot of time. Both action and gradients are free, so make sure to check out that video. Now select this black fill layer, lower the flow with white as foreground color. Paint with small, soft round brush. Just paint on the edges, on the areas near the glow that we've created in the background. Paint with white color, and if you want to erase anything, paint with black color. Just remember to do all of this with the black fill layer selected. Now we'll quickly paint some highlights on the left, doing exactly the same thing. I'm doing it quickly for the video, but you should take your time for better results. Once highlights are done, create a new green solid color above the highlights group. Invert the mask, Set the flow to 100 with white color and soft round brush. Paint some here and some on this side. Change its blending mode to linear dodge and then lower the opacity. See the difference? Just small detail. Then I added the icons on the left. Now take type tool and add a dollar sign here. Scale and place it around here. Change its color to yellow. Now click on this button and then inner glow. Now you can stop the video and copy these settings if you want. Then click on satin box. Copy this as well. Now add drop shadow. This one will be for glow. And then one more drop shadow. This will be a normal shadow. Copy all these settings or just simply get the PSD of this thumbnail in the description. Then hit OK. Now take ellipse tool from here. Create a big circle like this below our subject. With the shape layer selected, go to properties panel and click on this button. Then remove this fill color and then click on the stroke and choose white color. Now increase the stroke width from here. Click on this and choose dashed line then click on this button and set the cap to round. Again, go to Stroke Options and decrease the dash length from here. With Shape Layer selected, take Lasso Tool from here and make a selection like this and then click on this Mask button. It'll remove everything outside the selection.
Remove some of these areas here with lower brush flow. After camera raw filter, this is the result. By adding some more elements and doing some color adjustments, I made another option. You can get high resolution PSD of this thumbnail along with three more. I'll link them in description. If you're interested, make sure to check it out.